Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is Eros and we're currently playing an early access version 0.5.0 and it is the brand new update that has just came out and we are going to be able to do a little bit of interspecies breeding once we go ahead and find ourselves a baryon. I think it has to be an abandoned little orphan baryon that we can go ahead and invite to our tribe. So when that happens, that is definitely going to be a very, very exciting. And I'm loving our little, like, family. We have a little Dalmatian mommy right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, she has beautiful, beautiful children. So far, we've only had daughters, though. So we have four daughters, and then we also have our mate over here, Adam, who has kind of been wandering around here collecting up different bunnies that he's able to find, so that's very fun to see him do. And then, um... Eve is currently pregnant with her fifth child, so I'm hoping we're gonna have a boy because we're gonna kinda need a boy <laughs> uh, for the future of our tribe, but we'll go ahead and see. And I did go ahead and put in double eyesight for Eve since our children were having a little bit of a blind eye and short-sighted eye and the recessive trait. So hopefully with the 100% normal eyes, her babies will have normal eyes. That's what I'm hoping. We'll go ahead and see if that's the case. Uh, but let's go ahead and skip to the next day and see what the next baby is going to be. And it looks like another baby girl, but look at her coloration. <gasps> she is so cute. And we have Lala. Didn't we just name you Lala? Oh my goodness. We named you Lala. And then we have Lala right here. That is so funny. <laughs> I guess we'll name you, uh, L Lolo. We'll have Lolo and Lala. <laughs> That is so funny. And these two have ram horns too, which is different from their other three sisters who have the antlers, but still very cute nonetheless from their father. All right, so Lolo and Lala. <laughs> so cute. So let's go ahead and see if her eyesights are good. She does. She has good eyesight. So my theory might be correct if you put double like good eyes right here, then the babies might have double good eyes too. Um, but I don't know if that's true yet, so we'll go, we're still gonna have to go ahead and test that theory out a little bit. So we're still trying to make a boy, so let's go ahead and have Eve kind of come over here and say, yo, give me a man. And, oh, did their breeding fail? <gasps> their breeding failed, it did. Mating failure, oh my goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and have Adam try this time, and it was successful. So Eve, she's just gonna go ahead and pop down a nest right here, since we do have enough nesting material to do so. And then Adam, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's do a quick check to see. Let's see, there's lots of little moles hanging out underground and smelling. There's different types of roots too. All right, good to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and have him kind of explore out this area a little bit to see what we can find. And then Lala, let's go ahead and move you over here. You can do a little bit of exploring this way, little one. And then is there any berries we can go ahead and collect right there? And then we can also get rid, rid of these grasses too. And let's go ahead and move Annie back down here so she can help out with collecting the berries that she can find right there. And let's go ahead and have Cami go ahead and collect the berries that are right there as well and do a little bit of foliage collecting too. And we still have a move with Annie. <laughs> I don't know if I can really do much. Um, so I guess we'll just keep her there for now. But let's go ahead and see if we're going to have a brand new little baby and if it's going to be a boy. <gasps> Our very first boy. Look at him. He is a boy. He is definitely a boy. He has his little mane from his father. And let's see, he has good eyesight, which is a really, really nice to see. And high fertility and he has B and G immunity. Look at how cute he is. Oh my goodness, little, little red Dalmatian baby. That is so adorable. Um, so Kuru, let's go ahead and just name her him Kirk. And Kirk, our very first boy. So I'm very excited to see that happening and uh, to make sure that we're able to eventually, you know, meet our other niche things together if we have both boys and girls. So I'm pretty happy about that. So little baby prince, Kirk the prince maybe, <laughs> uh, with all of his... Uh, Five sisters. Oh my goodness, five sisters. That's a lot of sisters to have. All right, so let's go ahead and pop Lolo out of the nest right there. And then Comey can go ahead and collect the berries that are right here too. And let's see what else can you do, Comey. Looks like we are in a little bit of a drought right now too. So we're going to have to be careful and make sure that we are able to make sure we have enough food for our tribe. 
since the berries are kind of like going to have a hard time growing. So let's go ahead and collect the berries that are right there and then we can have Annie kind of pop out here and do a little bit of digging and she wasn't able to succeed and get anything and let's go ahead and have um, Cammie collect the berries that are right here too. Nice. She was able to get a fair amount. And then let's go ahead and have Eve hmm, kind of move over here, breed with Adam. They were successful. And then she's not going to be able to make it to the nest, but she'll make her way down there to be able to have her baby soon. And then Adam, go ahead and clear out some of this area and move out this way a little bit. And then let's go ahead and move Cammy kind of over here by her father. And then the Lola or Lala, she can go ahead and collect the different foliage right there. And there was a lot of mold too. So we're definitely going to have to move these creatures around and wait for the mold to pop back up. So we can go ahead and get that little mole guy. But let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring. And it has brought the rain. So the rain has been brought and it looks like there is a bunny. Adam would be very excited about the bunny and he would go ahead and get it and say, look guys, I have provided for my family. <laughs> Uh, and then we can go ahead and have Eve pop in this nest and go ahead and do a little bit of root collecting, which she was successful on. And then Kirk can kind of pop out of this nest too. And then Cammy, she can go ahead and collect some of the berries and foliage. And then Annie, let's go ahead and move you down here to do a little bit of berry collecting as well. And then let's go ahead and move Comey back over here to collect some berries right there. And then little Lala, she can go ahead and probably just move over to the berry bush and do a little bit of berry collecting there too. And then Lolo, you can, my friend. Let's go ahead and start clearing out the foliage that's over here as well. Oh, and there's another nest too. <gasps> Didn't even see that. All right, so there is another nest over there as well. So that's going to be very nice to have for in the future. So in this rainy day, let's go ahead and see what the um, next child of Eve and Adam are going to be. And another little girl. Oh my gosh, Kirk, you are the only little boy so far. And this little girl definitely looks a lot like her brother um, with the uh, different coloration. Oh, and you know what, guys? It is not 100% because she has the short-sighted eyes. So even with double eyesight from her mother... She still did not inherit complete good eyes because she was able to get the short-sighted eye from her father. So I'm wondering if he has um, normal eyes in both of his slots. Does that make it like 100% then? So if she has both 50 and he has both 50, does that mean the eyes are going to be good? I'm not too sure. We're just doing a little bit of for science and seeing if it's going to work. And let's go ahead and have Eve collect the berries right there, pop into this nest, and then Adam, go over here and breed with her, his mate, right there, and then let's go ahead and see, see, he would probably want to go over here and explore a little bit more, he does, he likes exploring and like chasing down bunnies, he likes just, you know, roaming around, um, a lot too, and then let's do some berry collecting with our daughters, there we go, we can go ahead and unlock that nest a little bit too, and unlock that rock as well. And then Kirk, our precious little baby boy, um, he can go ahead and start doing a berry collecting of his own. And then Cammy, she can go ahead and kind of hang out by her father and start to search around over there. And then we can go ahead and get the foliage here and do a little bit of attempting to root collect. And then we can go ahead and move Annie out here and do a little bit of root collecting attempting as well. And let's see, anything else we can do? Can we collect any roots or anything around here? We could take down this berry bush. Let's go ahead and do it. I think she'd be pretty hungry as a pregnant mama. And she'd be like, I want this berry bush. Um, the berry bush will go back too. So I guess we'll kind of test and see how fast it takes for berry bushes to grow back in this update. Um, and let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring. And another little girl. We are Kirk. Kirk, you are the only male. Other than your father, you have all these little sisters. Oh my goodness. That is pretty amazing. And she also got short-sighted eye too. So even with Adam having 50-50 eyes and Eve having 50-50 eyes in both of their slots, it is not 100% chance that their children will have good eyesight. So I have a feeling that having good eyesight in both of their mutation slots are kind of a waste. So I do not recommend that. 
I recommend having good eyes in one slot and using the other mutation slot for something else. Um, so we might have learned something there. For science, for scientific purposes, I helped you guys out, so you're welcome. <laughs> um, all right. So now that we know that is a thing, um, I still want to see if we can have at least one more boy. So Kirk isn't the only male that is going to like bring forth future children of this tribe. So, uh, we're gonna have to see if we can have another baby. Let's go ahead and name you Nami. So, we have a little Nami right here. You gonna pop you out in the nest right there. And then we can go ahead and name you Manny. <laughs> uh, Nami and Manny. Aw, so cute. Uh, and then let's go ahead and move Adam. Let's see. I wanna put Eve in the nest. And then I wanna move Adam next to his mate. Go ahead and breed with her. And then collect the berries that are right there. And then Adam, you can go ahead and take down that nest too. And then I wonder, let's see. Uh, we won't have her take down that berry bush because we don't want to completely get rid of all the berry bushes that we have. Uh, and let's go ahead and collect berries from right here and move um, Lolo um, up this way. And then let's go ahead and move see Cammy up this way a little bit to do a little bit of foliage collecting and exploring and let's go ahead and start moving Annie I think we're gonna have these three maybe be explorers for now um, to see what we can find and it looks like we did find another nest over here too so that is very nice and then Cammy you can go ahead and start exploring with your sisters up this way so that is very nice to see and then Kirk our poor little baby bo brother um, <laughs> He can start uh, collecting some foliage out this way too until he gets a little bit older and then he can potentially take a mate of his own. He has a large selection of females that he can go ahead and choose from if he wishes to. So that is something that we're going to have to think about too. So let's go ahead and see. And another precious little baby girl. She has such a pretty color though. She has like this yellow dot pattern. She is so cute. I'm gonna name her Daisy because she like the yellow just reminds me of like daisies. She's so cute. Little Daisy here. And let's see if she has she has blind eye in her inactive slot. Um once again, we're struggling. The struggle is real. Um, but we did all that we can can with the mutation menu. We probably did a little bit too much. It didn't really help all that much, so keep that in mind for your tribes, everybody. And then still wanting to have another boy. So let's go ahead and pop Eve out. She can go ahead and breed. That was not successful. Let's go ahead and have him try. And then um, Eve, let's see, there is another nest over there. Um, but let's just have her move over this way a little bit. And then um, Nami, go ahead and collect berries right there. And let's go ahead and move her to this berry bush so she can help collect there as well. And then Komi, she can go ahead and attempt to do a little bit of digging right there. And then Adam, he would probably be very interested. Did we see a bunny somewhere, like right over here? Yes, there's a bunny over there too. So Adam, for some reason, he's very interested in collecting these bunnies. So let's go ahead and have him chase there. And then Kirk would be like, Dad, wait up. I want to help too. And we can have Kirk... Or, no, no, this isn't Kirk. Kirk is over here. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, sorry. The colorations were too similar. Um, but Manny would probably chase after dad and then Kurt would be like, hey dad, no, I will help as well. And Kirk can go ahead and wander off this way too. Sorry about that. And then you guys can do a little bit of island exploration and see what we could find. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. There is another nest over there too. Maybe that will one day be Kirk's nest for his mate or mates because he does have a lot of options for different mates that he can actually uh, pick in the future. Let's do a really quick check to see if we, we can hear and what we can smell. And there we go. There is another berry bush there too so that's keep an eye. And this little berry bush is growing back so don't you worry about that. And let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring. And it looks like it's going to be a nice and sunny day once again. And we have everybody over here. Where is that bunny, though? Where'd that bunny go? The bunny went all the way down here. Oh, my goodness. So, it is time to chase the bun buns. Uh, let's go ahead and chase. And it looks like there's some fish, too. And you're able to get the bunny. And um, Adam would be like, good job, son. 
you were able to collect that bun bun. So they can go ahead and get that. And then Manny can kind of move up there and move back over this way. And then we can have little Daisy pop out of the nest. She's so precious. And then we can have Eve pop back in the nest and collect some of the foliage that's around here. And then let's go ahead and head and have Nami collect the, the berries that are right there too. And attempt to do a little bit of digging. And do a little bit of digging there. And then do a little bit of searching. There is another nest this way too, which is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And then... The exploration mission is full force. We must all explore and see what we can find out in the wilderness. And hopefully we can find a new member to kind of invite to our tribe. So that's going to be interesting to see. And let's see if Kirk is going to be able to have um, a little brother. Or if he's simply just going to have all sisters. Because Adam and Eve are definitely getting really old and they only have two days left of their life cycle. So, yes. Kirk, you might be the only one. You might be the only male. Let's go ahead and see. And Kirk, you might be the only male from our tribe. So many daughters. We have a precious little baby girl. And let's go ahead and see. She does have normal eyes too. So I'm very happy to see that. And she does has this, has this uh, interesting home island immunity as well. And she has like this reddish coloration, which is very, very beautiful. And let's go ahead and name her Rosie to kind of go off of um, Daisy. So we have Daisy and little Rosie right here with our precious little rose colored. And then we can go ahead and collect the bunny meat. So there we go. And can we do anything with this? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and have Adam um, pop out of here. I guess they could potentially try to have one more baby, but I think we'll just let them live their last day kind of you know, with each other and collecting moles. Um, let's see, they have two days left. So yeah, we'll let them go ahead and enjoy their last few days. <laughs> um, and Kirk will be the only male that this family will have right now. And then Kirk can kind of figure out um, who he wants to go ahead and try to breed with to make some more babies um, for the tribe. Um, and then we can go ahead and do a little bit more exploration see what we can find and there is a tree over here too that we can go ahead and attempt to crack some of the nuts so that's gonna be interesting to see too let's go ahead and attempt to do a little bit of digging and then Lolo you can come over here oh can you there you go come over here and join the exploration parade and there is another nest over that way too which is very nice and then Eve you can come over here and kind of collect the berries that are in this nest and then Daisy, go ahead and do a little berry collecting yourself. And Manny, do a little bit of berry collecting as well. And, oops, little Nami. Um, you can start moving kind of towards this berry bush too. Alright, guys. So let us see what the next day is going to go ahead and bring us. And I did just experience a little bit of Crash Arena. Um, my game just crashed. And it looks like we might have gone back? Maybe? Um... So we can go ahead and collect the algae that's there. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and then let's go ahead and pop Kirk out here. And then Adam. He still has two days left. All right, so they still have two days left of their cycle. Let's go over here and Adam go ahead and get that mole once again. And let's go ahead and move little Daisy. Oh, she scared away the mole, Daisy. Daisy, you scared away the mole. Let's go ahead and move her up here. Rosie can go ahead and collect the berries that are there as well. And then Kirk, our precious little male. You can kind of move over here. Let's go ahead and just do berry collecting um, party. And let's go ahead and we can have Cami kind of do exploration. Move over here and go ahead and get this mole. Good job, um, Lala. Good job, girl. Go ahead and collect the berries that are right there. And let's go ahead and do a little digging. And let's move Lolo. Um, out this way to join the exploration party and she can go ahead and attempt to do a little bit of digging and since it's Eve's last days uh, are they back on too? Alright, so it looks like Eve is just a little bit older she can go ahead and collect the berries that are right here too and there we go so now let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to go ahead and bring and it looks like Eve has passed away the mother of the tribe has passed away and she has left her bones on her youngest daughter who we named uh, Rosie, but it did not take, so let's go ahead and rename her Rosie. So there we go. 
and I made the same mistake once again. There we go, little Rosie. Um, so she can go ahead and pop out of the nest. And then Adam is probably going to be really sad that his mate has passed away, but he knows that his time um, is very soon too. So I think he'd go ahead and try to lay on the bones of his mate, and they can they can live forever in in peace and in love and you know it's so romantic. Uh, and then let's go ahead and do exploration party. Have everybody kind of look around. There is another nest over that way too, which is very nice. And move out this way. And let's go ahead and get the berries right there. And let's go ahead and see. Um, I think we did discover the tree before the crash. So let's go ahead and have more creatures come over here to attempt to go ahead and collect some nuts. And then Kirk, uh, you're going to kind of get to have your pick of who you want to be your next mate too. So that's going to be a lot of fun to see um, who Kirk kind of fancies and who he wants to be his potential mate in the future. And let's go ahead and have Daisy go ahead and collect this. So we have a lot of our creatures wandering off and co collecting and searching the rest of this island. And then in the next turn, we'll have Kirk start being a very um, important member of the tribe and have his very own babies. Um, we'll go ahead and pick somebody or multiple um, people who you think he would be a good uh, kind of mix with and breed with them. Uh, let's go ahead and skip the turn and allow Adam to have his final um, days and rest his bones on his beloved Eve. And there we go. Both of their bones are on this nest. It's so romantic. It's so poetic. Uh, but yeah, so Kirk, you are about to be a father. Don't even know it, but it's going to happen. And yeah, so next episode, Kirk will pick some mates of his very, very own. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Niche. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.